everyone my name is Aitya and welcome to HD Tech. Well guys in this particular video I am going to be reviewing this particular hard disk. Well guys before coming to this particular product it is pretty much important to let you know that why I opted for a hard disk rather than a SSD. It depends person to person that what is his requirement. For me personally I wanted external storage to back up my entire computer so I have purchased the MacBook Pro couple of months ago but at that time. I thought that 512 GB is more than sufficient but just after 4 to 5 months the entire storage is completely full. So now I have no other option than to buy an external hard disk. Well guess for me for video editing buying a SSD is much more better option. For those people who don't know SSD is much more compact and has much better speed as compared to hard disk. But for me you know my budget was around 5000 rupees and in this particular price segment Either you can buy a 256 GB SSD or else one terabyte hard disk. But I personally care a lot about the storage. So I don't care much about the speed, but I care more about the physical storage. So that was the reason I opted for a hard disk. But if you are such a kind of person who is not having an amazing computer, then investing behind a SSD will make your workflow way more better. And here is a quick calculation which will be a deal breaker and force you into thinking that either you should buy a SSD or a hard disk. Well guess for example you are having 4000 rupees and you are getting either a 256 GB SSD or a 1 TB hard disk. And if you will do the minute calculation then the per cost for a gigabyte in a hard disk is close to 4 rupees. So you are talking about 4 rupees for 1 GB storage whereas on the other hand if you will buy the 256 GB SSD then you are talking about 15 rupees per 1 gigabyte. I know that buying a SSD is much better of an option than buying a hard disk because in a solid state drive there are very less chances that it will get corrupted and on the other hand it is pretty much portable and the main highlight is about the transfer speed. But guys with the help of this video I just want to tell you that suppose if you are having a capable computer which is having a SSD then you should definitely go for a hard disk because you are already having a powerhouse and the only requirement you have is to take the backup. So you know hardly you will use this particular backup when you will buy the next computer or once in couple of weeks but it is not a regular thing. So if, if you feel that if I have to use this particular backup every single day then I will recommend you to go for an SSD. But if that's not the condition then I will insist you save your money and go for more storage. Well guys I hope that this particular video was little bit helpful and guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos. So guys I will meet you with another beautiful video and till then peace.